This is Tony T from TonySpakes.com with our college football pick show here for Saturday, September 28th. We'll have all 50 games. Before we get underway, just a couple things. Be sure to click the link in the description for my best bets, my premium plays over at TonySpakes.com. That'll take you to the sales page. Also, if you like more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you appreciate our work, be sure to give us a like, a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Northern Illinois here and NC State college football pick. This one here on Saturday here at noon Eastern time. All right, we're getting you the play here for you. And this one, Northern Illinois fell to two and one after their 23 to 20 home overtime defeat to Buffalo. The Huskies gained 364 yards, 165 rushing for 3.9 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 184 yards to the Bulls with 107 passing on 17 attempts. Ethan Hampton hit 23 of 43 passes for 194 yards with a pick. NC State drops to 2-2 two and two after their 59-35 defeat to Clemson. The Wolfpack put up 430 yards, 183 rushing, 4.8 yards at carry. On defense, they allowed 523 yards to the Tigers with 269 rushing for about 8 yards at carry. Grayson McCall missed the game due to an injury. C.J. Bailey, 16-25 passing for 204 yards with a touchdown and pick. Illinois does have a road win at Notre Dame. The Huskies are defending well, holding the points at 3.1 yards per run and only 6.1 yards per pass step. They are efficient offensively, 5.2 yards to carry on the ground, 8.5 yards per pass step. NC State really a struggle in run defense, give up nearly six yards to carry in the passing game, allowing 247 yards per game, 7.4 yards per pass step. McCall's injury is a concern. NIU is 8-1 of the spread as a road underdog. NC State 3-7 as a home favorite, play Northern Illinois plus seven. <clears throat> Maryland and Indiana college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Maryland improved to 3 and 1 with their 38 to 20 home win to FCS Villanova. 2 weeks ago it was a 27-13 a road win at Virginia. The Terrapins gained 391 yards, 128 rushing for 3.5 yards of carry on defense. They allowed 360 yards to the Cavs with 247 passing on 37 attempts. Billy Edwards 28 of 43 passing for 263 yards with two touchdowns. Indiana sits at 4-0. A 52-14 home win to Charlotte. Hoosers put up 510 yards, 222 rushing for 5.5 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 256 yards to the 49ers with 119 passing on 23 attempts. First work goes 16-20 for 258 yards with a touchdown. Indiana getting balanced to their offense. They rush for 5.7 yards of carry and complete 72% of their passes for 11 yards per pass attempt. They are effective here in run and pass defense. Maryland's loss came at home to Michigan State. The Terrapins rushed for only 4.3 yards to carry, allowing 247 yards passing for 7 yards per pass step. Play will be on Indiana, minus 7. <clears throat> Buffalo and UConn college football pick. This one Saturday, Buffalo moves to 3-1 after their 23-20 road overtime win at Northern Illinois. The Bulls produced 184 yards, 77 rushing for 2.1 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Huskies to 359 yards, 165 rushing for 3.9 yards a carry. O.J. Ogbonna, 10-17 of 17 passing for 107 yards with a touchdown. UConn 2-2 two two after their 48-14 home win to FAU. The Huskies put up 542 yards, 421 rushing for 6.4 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Alistair 250 yards, 87 passing on 16 attempts. Nick Evers, 9 of 14 passing for 88 yards and a touchdown. He rushed for 78 yards and two touchdowns. Buffalo deals with the issues offensively as they run for only 3.5 yards a carry. And they've been inaccurate at the quarterback position. Connecticut getting great production on the ground. Huskies were competitive at Duke two weeks ago in a 26-21 road loss. They are 9-4 of the spread in their past 13 home games and 2-0 of the spread at home facing teams that average 310 yards game or lower play UConn minus five and a half. <clears throat> Western Kentucky and Boston College. College football pick Saturday. 
Western Kentucky improved to 3-1 after their 26-21 home win to Toledo. Hilltoppers posted at 313 yards, 71 rushing for 3.3 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 325 yards to the Rockets with 200 passing yards on 33 attempts. Caden Valkamp, 20 of 30 passing for 242 yards with a touchdown and two picks. Boston College 3-1 after their 23-19 home win to Michigan State. Eagles posted 292 yards, 152 rushing for 3.5 yards a carry. Defensively, BC allowed 368 yards to the Spartans with 241 passing yards on 35 attempts. Thomas Castellanos completed 10 of 16 passes for 140 yards and a touchdown. WKU got good performance from their passing game with 68% completions and 8.1 yards per pass attempt. WKU has covered 5 of their past 6 games and 11 of 17 on the road. Boston College 1-6 of the spread as a home favorite play in Western Kentucky plus 13. Nebraska and Purdue college football pick Saturday. Nebraska fell to 3-1 after their 31-24 home overtime defeat to Illinois. The Cornhuskers put up 345 yards, just 48 rushing for under 2 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 281 yards to the final line eye with 166 rushing yards for 4.2 yards to carry. Dylan Royola, 24-35 passing, 297 yards with 3 touchdowns and a pick. Purdue drops a 1-2, a 38-21 road defeat at Oregon State. Boilermakers gained at 319 yards, 263 rushing for 8.7 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 445 yards to the Beavers with 341 rushing for 6 yards to carry. Hudson Card to 7-17 passing for 56 yards with a touchdown and pick. Purdue getting poor quarterback play in their losses to FBS opponents. Card just hitting 44%, 4.4 yards per pass attempt. The Brass has defended well, holding opponents to 3 yards per rush, 6.2 yards per pass attempt. Purdue's pass defenders limited foes to 61% completion rate, 6.9 yards per pass attempt. Play will be on Nebraska and Purdue under 49. <clears throat> Kentucky and Ole Miss college football pick Saturday. Kentucky 2-2 two two after a 41-6 home win to Ohio. The Wildcats gained 488 yards, 206 rushing for 5 yards of carry. On defense, they held the Bobcats at 223 yards, 110 passing on 19 attempts. Brock Vandergriff, 17 of 24 passes for 237 yards. Ole Miss, 4 0, a 52 13 home win to Georgia Southern. The Rebels had 607 yards, 219 rushing for 6.1 yards to carry. Defensively, the Rebels allowed 295 yards to the Eagles with 157 passing on 33 attempts. Jackson Dart, 22 of 31 passing for 382 yards with four touchdowns and a pick. Ole Miss getting it done on both sides of the field. They're rushing for 6.3 yards to carry and getting accurate and efficient quarterback play from experienced dart here. On defense, they're allowing 1.2 yards per rush, only 5.5 yards per pass attempt. Kentucky's rushing here for only 4.3 yards to carry and have issues with accuracy at the quarterback position. Wildcats are 0-2 to the spread as a road underdog of plus 10.5 to plus 21. Ole Miss 6-2 to the spread at home in September game. Play Ole Miss minus 17. Oklahoma State and Kansas State College football pick this one here on Saturday. Oklahoma State fell to 3-1, a 22-19 home loss to Utah. The Cowboys gained at 285 yards, 48 rushing for 3.1 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 456 yards to the Utes with 249 rushing for 4.8 yards to carry. Ellen Bowman, 16-33 passing for 206 yards with two touchdowns, two picks. Kansas State drops to 3-1, a 38-9 road defeat to BYU. The uh, Wildcats posted 367 yards, 228 rushing for 5.3 yards to carry. Defensively, they held the Cougars to 241 yards, 92 of it rushing for under 4 yards to carry. Avery Johnson, 15 of 28 passing for 130 yards and 2 picks. Kansas State defense has been good this season. They're holding the post at 2.8 yards per rush. They held Arizona 7 points at home. Avery Johnson efficiency at quarterback the concern. They are a good running team, so expect high volume rushes here. Oklahoma State struggles uh, to run and allowing 4.5 yards to carry to opponents. Wildcats 4-1 in the under at home as a favorite of 7 points or fewer. Play Oklahoma State and Kansas State under 56.
South Florida and Tulane College football pick. Here we go for Saturday. USF drops a 2-2, two two, a 50-15 home defeat to Miami. The Bulls gained 365 yards, 62 rushing for nearly two yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 592 yards to the Hurricanes with 404 passing yards for, on 34 attempts. Myron Brown, 19-30 passing for 254 yards. Tulane now 2-2 two two after a 41-33 row win at Louisiana. The Green Wave posted 355 yards, 272 rushing for 5.8 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 471 yards to the Raging Cages with 183 rushing for 6.8 yards a carry. Darian Mensah, 11-17 passing for 83 yards and a touchdown. USF is getting poor quarterback play with inaccuracy and inefficiency. The team defends and run effectively with 3.7 yards per rush allowed. Tulane runs at high volume, average of 39 per game and an effective at 5 yards a carry. The Green Wave allows only 6.3 yards per pass attempt. Tulane 10 and 6 in the under as a home favorite. Play USF and Tulane under 64 and a half. Navy and UAB college football pick Saturday. Navy 3-0 after their 56-44 home win to Memphis. The midshipmen produced 566 yards, 361 rushing for 9.3 yards at carry. On defense, they allowed the Tigers uh, six, uh, 559 yards, 659 yards with 385 passing on 57 attempts. Blake Horvath, 9-12 passing for 192 yards with two touchdowns. He rushed for 211 yards and four touchdowns. UAB 1-2, a 37-27 road defeat at Arkansas. The Blazers produced 354 yards, 119 rushing for 3.5 yards at carry. On defense, they allowed 427 yards to the Razorbacks with 266 rushing yards for 7 yards at carry. Jacob Zeno, 23-32 passing for 235 yards and 3 touchdowns and a pick. You know, Zeno is an experienced quarterback. The Blazers completing 70% of their passes and defending the pass effectively. Navy giving up 4.7 yards at carry. They're giving up 289 yards passing the game. Play UAB plus 3.5. BYU and Baylor college football pick Saturday. BYU improved a 4 0, a 38 9 home win to Kansas State. The Cougars gained only 241 yards, 92 of it rushing for under 4 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 367 yards to the Wildcats with only 139 passing on 29 attempts. Jake Rethloff, 15 21 passing for 149 yards and two touchdowns. Baylor fell to 2 2, a 38 31 road defeat in overtime at Colorado. The Bears posted 314 yards, 166 rushing for four yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 432 yards to the Buffs with 341 passing on 41 attempts. Quan Finn missed the game due to injury and is questionable here. Sawyer Robertson, 11 to 21 passing for 148 yards with two touchdowns. First road test for the Cougars here. The running game is producing only four yards a carry. Baylor's getting big plays downfield in the passing game, eight and a half yards per pass attempt on the year. On defense, the Bears are holding opponents to 3.3 yards per rush, only 53% completion rate, 6.5 yards per pass attempt. BYU 3-5, the spread is the road underdog. Baylor 4-0 at home to the spread, coming off a road loss. Play Baylor minus 3.5. Minnesota and a Michigan college football pick Saturday. Minnesota fell to 2-2, two two, a 31-14 home defeat to Iowa. The Golden Gophers put up only 288 yards, 79 rushing for under 4 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 334 yards to the Hawkeyes with 272 rushing for 6 yards to carry. Max Brosmer, 22 of 37 passing for 209 yards and 2 touchdowns. And two picks. Michigan moves to 3-1, a 27-24 home win to USC. The Wolverines put up 322 yards, 290 rushing for 6.3 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 379 yards to the Trojans with 283 passing on 52 attempts. Alex Orgy, 7-12 of 12 passing for 32 yards. Minnesota getting really poor run production. This was once a really strong running team. They're just averaging 3.8 yards of carry. They were held at 14 points at home to Iowa, 17 at home to North Carolina, all resulting in losses. The Wolverines are running the football well, 5.6 yards to carry, defensively holding teams at 3.1 yards per run, 5.9 yards per pass attempt. Minnesota 3-7 and seven of the spread on the road. Brosmer's performance against FBS opponents not encouraging. Play here, Michigan minus 9.
Ball State and James Madison college football pick Saturday. Ball State fell to 1-2, a 37-34 road defeat at Central Michigan's Cardinals gained 431 yards, 146 rushing for 3.9 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 523 yards to the Chippewas, 335 rushing for 10 yards to carry. Caden Simonza, 30 of 40, passing for 285 yards with three touchdowns. James Madison improved to 3-0, a 70-50 road win at North Carolina. The Dukes gained 611 yards, 223 rushing for 5.7 yards to carry. On defense, they surrendered 616 yards to the Tar Heels, 475 passing on 48 attempts. Alonzo Barnett, 22 of 34, passing for 388 yards, five touchdowns. Ball State's defense is a major concern here. They're giving up 7.5 yards to carry on the ground. Opposing quarterbacks completed 69% of their passes for 10.3 yards per pass attempt. The Cardinals are running for only 3.4 yards to carry. Half inefficient passing game that averages 5.9 yards per pass attempt. Duke's offense put up 5.2 yards per run, 10 yards per pass attempt. Ball State allowed 34 points at home to an FCS team in Missouri State. They fell 62 to zip at Miami. Play James Madison here at minus 20 and a half. Texas State and San Houston State College football pick Saturday. Game played neutral field in Archie Stadium, home of the Houston Texans. Texas State fell to 2 1 after their 31 28 home defeat to Arizona State. Bobcats posted 400 yards, 132 of it rushing for over four yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 347 yards to the Sun Devils with 246 passing on 30 attempts. Jordan McLeod, 29 of 44 passing for 268 yards with four touchdowns and a pick. Sam Houston 3-1 after a 31-11 home win to New Mexico State. The Bearcats put up 382 yards, 280 rushing for 5.1 yards to carry. On defense, they held the Aggies to 152 yards, 74 of it passing on 29 attempts. Hunter Watson, 9-21 passing for 64 yards and two picks. He rushed for 116 yards and two touchdowns. Sam Houston getting efficient work in their passing game, 7.2 yards per pass attempt. They're running for 4.4 yards to carry, and that's... You know, that's going to help the mobile quarterback in Watson. Pass defense for the Bearcats has been good by holding opposing quarterbacks at 57% completion rate, 5.5 yards per pass step. Lots of stats were put up by Texas State against Lamar and UTSA. Play Sam Houston State here, plus 8.5. Eastern Michigan and Kent College football pick Saturday. Eastern Michigan 3-1 after the 36-0 home win to FCS St. Francis, Pennsylvania. Now, two weeks ago, it was a 37-34 home overtime win to Jacksonville State. Eagles posted 447 yards, 152 rushing for under three yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 423 yards to the Gamecocks, 311 passing on 34 attempts. Cole Snyder, 26-37 passing for 273 yards and two touchdowns. Kent 0-4. A 56 to nothing road defeat at Penn State. Golden Flashes put up 66 yards, 18 passing yards on 13 attempts. Defensively, they allowed 718 yards to the Lions with 49 passing yards on 31 attempts. Tommy Olatowski, 0 of 6 passing and defeat. He was a four stringer after injuries to their three other quarterbacks put him in the starting role. This was a massive rebound season for the Golden Flashes. We knew this coming in. Now relegated to their four string quarterback under center. The Eagles just blew out an FCS team. They're capable here of a blowout win. EMU defends to run well. Efficient quarterback play. Kent rushes for only 1.7 yards to carry. Defensively giving up 6.3 yards per run. 10 yards per pass down. Play Eastern Michigan minus 14 and a half. Liberty and Appalachian State college football pick Saturday. Liberty 4-0 after their 35-24 home win to East Carolina. The Flames gained 414 yards, 191 rushing for 4.2 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 331 yards to the Pirates with 204 passing on 36 attempts. Kane Salter, 19-32 passing for 223 yards, four touchdowns and a pick. App State drops a 2-2, a 48-14 home defeat to South Alabama. Mountaineers put up 385 yards, 119 rushing for 4.3 yards to carry. On defense, they gave up 474 yards to the Jaguars, 320 rushing for 7.4 yards per carry. Joe Aguilar, 21 to 40, passing for 266 yards with a touchdown and pick. Liberty has played a weak schedule. App State is passing for 307 yards a game with 7.5 yards per pass attempt. 
On the road, the Flames got past the down New Mexico State by only six points and gave up 24 points in the process. Play App State plus three and a half. Georgia Southern and Georgia State college football pick Saturday. Georgia Southern fell to 2-2, two two, a 52-13 road defeat at Ole Miss. The Eagles put up 195 yards, 38 of it rushing on 37 carries. On defense, they allowed 607 yards to the Rebels with 388 passing on 33 attempts. J.C. French here, 20-28 passing for 109 yards with the pick. Georgia State now 2-1, a 36-32 a, a home win to Vanderbilt. The Panthers gained 426 yards, 157 rushing for 4.6 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed... 380 yards to the Commodores, 270 passing on 33 attempts. Christian Villou, 26 of 41 passing for 269 yards with three touchdowns and a pick. Georgia State's been very poor in defending the pass, giving up 65% completions, nine yards per pass attempt. They've not been efficient offensively in the passing game, just 6.3 yards per attempt. Eagles were competitive at Boise State where they put up 45 points in defeat. Panthers, 5-8 to the spread at home. Play Georgia Southern plus 3.5. San Diego State and Central Michigan college football pick Saturday. San Diego State fell to 1-2, a 31-10 road defeat at Cal. The Aztecs gained only 276 yards, 110 rushing for 3.1 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 473 yards to the Golden Bears, 275 yards rushing for 6.5 yards a carry. Daniel O'Neill, a knee injury. He's questionable in this one. Javance Tapata Johnson started against Cal, went 13-29, passing for 156 yards with a touchdown and pick. Central Michigan improved to 2-2, two two, a 37-34 home win to Ball State. Chippewas put up 527 yards, 335 rushing for 10 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 431 yards to the Cardinals, 285 passing on 40 attempts. Joe Labas, 14-20 passing for 185 yards and touchdown. Quarterback situation for the Aztecs is a concern. San Diego State runs for only 3.1 yards of carry and gave an inaccurate play at quarterback along with only 5.5 yards per pass step. San Diego State defense is allowing 6.5 yards per rush. 72% completions. Central Michigan's offense is running for 5.9 yards a carry and has an efficient passing game with 7.6 yards per pass time. Play will be on Central Michigan here in minus three. Louisiana and Wake Forest college football pick Saturday. Louisiana fell to 2 and 1 after a 41 to 33 home defeat to Tulane. The Raging Cajuns gained 421 yards, 183 rushing for 6.8 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 355 yards to the Green Wave with 272 rushing yards for 5.8 yards to carry. Ben Wildridge, 19 of 34 passing for 238 yards with two touchdowns and two picks. Wake Forest drops to 1 and 2 after their 40 to 6 home defeat to Ole Miss. Demon Deacons posted 311 yards, 46 rushing for 1.4 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 649 yards to the Rebels, 377 passing yards on 34 attempts. Hank Bachmeyer, 22 of 39 passing for 239 yards. Louisiana has defended well, holding a post of 4.6 yards to carry, only 5.9 yards per pass step. Wake Forest has struggled running the football, 3.8 yards to carry. They hold a post of 4.6 yards per rush. Demon Dickens, 5-2, the under at home in the non-conference play here will be on Louisiana and Wake Forest under 60 and a half. Akron and Ohio College football pick Saturday. Akron 1-3 after their 50-7 road defeat at South Carolina. The Zips gained only 154 yards, 37 rushing, 1.8 yards per rush. On defense, they allowed 549 yards to the Gamecocks with 276 passing yards on 27 attempts. Ben Finley, 14 of 27 passing for 110 yards with a touchdown and a, and a pick. Ohio moves to 2-2, two two, a 41-6 road defeat at Kentucky. Bobcats posted 223 yards, 113 rushing for 3.5 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 488 yards to the Wildcats, 282 passing on 27 attempts. Parker Navarro questionable here with that wrist injury. Nick Polis. 8 of 19 pass, passing for 110 yards in a pick. 
The Zips offense very poor. They're running for 2.6 yards a carry, averaging only 5.6 yards per pass attempt. On defense, allowing over 5 yards a carry on the ground, along with 8 yards per pass attempt. While getting better production both ends of the field. Defensively, they hold teams to 3.1 yards a carry on the ground, just 5.4 yards per pass attempt. They are getting accurate and efficient quarterback play. Play here will be on Ohio, minus 12. <clears throat> UMass and Miami, Ohio college football pick this one Saturday. UMass 1 and 3 after a 35 31 home win to Central Connecticut State at FCS school. <clears throat> Two weeks ago was a 34 3 road defeat at Buffalo. Huskies gained in that game 193 yards, 72 rushing for nearly 2 yards per rush. On defense, they allowed 314 yards to the Bulls, 184 passing on 22 attempts. Tyson Womanacha, 20 of 30 passing for 287 yards, 3 touchdowns, and a pick. Miami, Ohio, 0-3 after their 28-3 road defeat at Notre Dame. Red Hawks gained 229 yards, 110 rushing for 4 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 428 yards to the Fighting Irish, 270 rushing for 7.5 yards to carry. Brett Gabbert. 14 of 35 passing for 119 yards and two picks. Miami's a rebuilding team, except in the quarterback position. They were hit hard by the transfer portal. Red Hawks are rushing for only 2.5 yards to carry, passing for 6.3 yards per pass attempt. Miami here, Ohio, giving up 6.5 yards per rush. The Minutemen defense holds opponents at 3.6 yards to carry, allowing only 51% completion rate. Player in this one will be on UMass, plus 18. Colorado and UCF college football pick, this one here on Saturday. Colorado improved to 3-1 after their 38-31 home overtime win to Baylor. The Buffaloes gained 432 yards, 91 rushing for under 3 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 314 yards to the Bears with 148 passing on 21 attempts. Shador Sanders, 25-41 passing for 341 yards and 2 touchdowns. UCF 3-0, a 35-34 row win at TCU. Knights put up 519 yards, 289 rushing for 5.5 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 460 yards to the Horned Frogs with 402 passing yards on 53 attempts. K.J. Jefferson, 13 of 22 passing for 230 yards and 3 touchdowns. He rushed for 46 yards in the game. We saw Colorado struggle against on the road here against Nebraska. They were held at 10 points. UCF holding teams at 2.6 yards per run, only 6.8 yards per pass attempt. Buffs on the road averaging only 3 yards a carry, 6.2 yards per pass attempt. They have been respectable defensively on the road, giving up 4.2 yards a carry, just 5.7 yards per pass attempt. Play Colorado and UCF under 64.5. Western Michigan and Marshall college football pick Saturday. Western Michigan sits at 1 and 2 after a 59 to 31 home win to FCS with Thune Cookman. The Broncos the week prior lost at home to Ohio State here 56 zip in that one. They gained only 99 yards with 28 rushing on 31 carries. Defensively they allowed 683 yards to the Buckeyes with 410 passing yards on 33 attempts. Hayden Wolf 8 of 15 passing for 71 yards. Marshall fouled a 1-2, a 49-14 road defeat at Ohio State. Thundering Herd put up 264 yards, 125 rushing for 2.9 yards a carry. Defensively, they gave up 516 yards to the Buckeyes with 280 rushing yards for 9 yards a carry. Stone Earl, 16-21 passing for 132 yards and a touchdown. Washington, Michigan is struggling defensively as they allow 4.7 yards a carry, 67% completion rate and 8.5 yards per pass attempt. Marshall has run the football effectively, 5.3 yards to carry. Western Michigan just gave 31 points at home to an FCS school. The Broncos 2-5 on the, to the spread on the road in their past seven non-conference games. Play Marshall minus three. TCU and Kansas college football pick. This one goes off on Saturday. TCU 2-2 two two after their 66-42 road defeat at SMU. The Horned Frogs gained 480 yards, 65 rushing for only 2 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 
375 yards to the Horned Frogs with 238 rushing for 5.7 yards to carry. Josh Hoover, 28 of 43 passing for 396 yards with three touchdowns and two picks. Kansas fell to 1-3, a 32-28 road defeat at West Virginia. The Jayhawks put up 531 yards, 247 rushing for 5.3 yards to carry. On defense, they surrendered 443 yards to the Mountaineers with 295 passing on 30 attempts. Jalen Daniels, 15 of 25 passing for 184 yards with a touchdown and pick. Horn Frogs defense allowing 217 yards rushing for 4.9 yards to carry. Their ground game struggling with 3 yards per carry average. The Jayhawks ground attack produces 5.5 yards per carry. They are getting good defensive performance by allowing 3.7 yards per run and only 52% completion rate. Back-to-back road games for the Horned Frogs here where they allow an average of 46 points a game play. And this one will be on Kansas minus two. Oklahoma and Auburn college football pick. This one here Saturday. Oklahoma fell to 3-1 after their 25-15 home defeat to Tennessee. The Sooners gained only 224 yards, 36 rushing on 34 attempts. On defense, they gave up 345 yards to the Volunteers with 194 passing yards on 21 attempts. Freshman Michael Hawkins, the starter quarterback for the ineffective Jackson Arnold on Saturday. Hawkins saw action last week, hitting 14-23 passes for 152 yards and a touchdown. Auburn drops to 2-2 after their 24-14 home defeat to Arkansas. The Tigers put up 431 yards, 146 rushing for 5.6 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 334 yards to the Razorbacks with 183 rushing for 3.3 yards to carry. Hank Brown in the game, 7 of 13, passing for 72 yards and three interceptions. Freshman quarterback in a tough environment here for the Sooners. Oklahoma offense has struggled only 3.6 yards a carry on the ground, 5.5 yards per pass attempt. They're allowing here 7.1 yards per pass attempt on defense. Auburn's offense rushes for 6.2 yards a carry. They are throwing for 284 yards per game, 9.8 yards per pass attempt, but most of these numbers came against weak opponents. First road game for Oklahoma play Auburn plus two. Fresno State versus UNLV college football pick Saturday. Fresno State improved to 3-1 after their 38-21 win at New Mexico. The Bulldogs in the game gained 345 yards, 93 rushing for under 3 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 485 yards to Lobos with 338 passing yards on 53 attempts. Mikey Keene, 26-33 passing for 226 yards and a touchdown. UNLV 3-0 after their 23-20 road win at Kansas. Rebels posted 267 yards, 181 rushing for 3.9 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 352 yards to the Jayhawks, 199 rushing for 5.7 yards of carry. Hajj Malik Williams expected to start. Matthew Sluka red shirts here. Williams is a transfer from Campbell who rushed for 88 yards on 10 carries this, uh, this year, by the way. He is a mobile quarterback based on his st- starts we saw in Campbell. Sluka was an ineffective passer for UNLV, winning despite of his per- poor performance passing the football. Williams was accurate as FCS school. Fresno State is not getting much production on the ground, 3.8 yards to carry. That win in Kansas was impressive for the Rebels defense. Uh, the UNLV defense has performed well, holding teams to 4.2 yards per run, 5.8 yards per pass attempt. Play UNLV minus one and a half. Arkansas and Texas A&M college football pick Saturday. Game play neutral field AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Arkansas improved to 3-1, a 24-14 row win at Auburn. Razorbacks gained 334 yards, 183 rushing for 3.3 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 431 yards to the Tigers, 285 passing on 35 attempts. Taylor Green here, 12-27 passing for 151 yards with a touchdown and two picks. Texas A&M 3-1, a 26-20 home win here to Bowling Green. The Aggies posted 408, 408 yards, 235 rushing for 5.5 yards at carry. On defense, they held the Falcons to 339 yards, 250 passing on 37 attempts. Connor Wegman has missed the past two games with a shoulder injury. He is a game-time decision here. Marcel Green went 16-29 for 173 yards with two touchdowns. Aggies have run the football effectively, 256 yards for a game, 6 yards a carry. 
They defend well, holding opponents to 4.3 yards a carry, 6.5 yards per pass attempt. Razorbacks give up 242 yards passing per game, 7 yards per pass attempt. Aggies 4-1 of the spread when they're favored here at between 3.5 and, and 10 points. Play Texas A&M here at minus 4. Louisville and Notre Dame college football pick Saturday. All right, uh, Louisville now 3-0, a 31-19 home win to Georgia Tech. Cardinals put up 326 yards, 57 rushing for two yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 410 yards to the Yellow Jackets, 312 passing on 32 attempts. Tyler Schell, 13 of 19 passing for 269 yards and two touchdowns. Notre Dame 3-1 after a 28-3 home win to Miami O. Fine Irish put up 428 yards, 270 rushing for 7.5 yards of carry. On defense, they held the Red Hawks to 229 yards, 119 passing on 36 attempts. Riley Leonard hit 16 of 25 passing for 154 yards with a touchdown. Notre Dame run offense impressive as they are averaging 6.8 yards of carry. Their defense has been outstanding here, allowing 3.6 yards of carry, 43% completion rate, 4.9 yards per pass attempt. Louisville has piled up stats against Austin P and at Jacksonville State in two of their three games. Cardinals run offense and pass defense against the Yellow Jackets concerning here. Play Notre Dame minus six and a half. Wisconsin and USC college football pick Saturday. Wisconsin fell to 2 and 1, a 42 to 10 home defeat to Alabama. Badgers put up 290 yards, 149 rushing for 3.6 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 407 yards to that Crimson Tide, 226 passing on 22 attempts. Brandon Locke, 13 of 26 passing for 125 yards with a touchdown. He was the backup inserted as starter. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke is injured. USC fell to 2 and 1 after their 27 24 road defeat at Michigan. The Trojans gained at 379 yards, 96 rushing for under four yards, under five yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 322 yards to the Wolverines with 290 rushing, 6.3 yards to carry. Miller Moss, 28 of 51 passing for 283 yards with three touchdowns and a pick. Tough spot for Wisconsin behind a backup starter at quarterback. Wisconsin's rush game just not strong enough to exploit this USC defense. They're averaging just four yards to carry on the ground, and they're only passing for 5.8 yards per pass attempt. On defense, the Badgers giving up 4.5 yards carry on the ground, 7.5 yards for pass up. USC's run the football effectively nearly 5.5 five yards of carry, throwing for 319 and averaging 7.5 yards per pass attempt. The Trojans have defended the pass well. The Trojans 5 over the spread in their past five home September games play USC minus 15.5. UTSA and East Carolina college football pick Saturday. UTSA improved to 2-2, two two, a 45-7 home victory to FCS Houston Christian. Now, two weeks ago, it was a 56-7 defeat at Texas. The Roadrunners gained 260 yards, 130 rushing for 3.3 yards a carry. On defense, they surrendered 614 yards at Longhorns, 427 passing on 32 attempts. Owen McCown, 21-29 passing for 113 yards. He was effective against his FCS opponent last week. East Carolina fell to 2-2, two two, a 35-24 road defeat at Liberty. The Pirates put up 331 yards, 127 rushing for 4 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 414 yards to the Flames, 191 rushing for 4.2 yards per rush. Jake Garcia completed 20 of 36 passes for 204 yards and a pick. East Carolina has struggled with their ground attack this season. UTSA has gotten accuracy at the quarterback position and on defense, uh, stopping the run. ECU has a home loss by two to a down App State team. Play UTSA plus four. North Carolina and Duke college football pick Saturday. North Carolina fell to three and one after a 70 to 50 home defeat to James Madison. The Tar Heels put up 616 yards, 141 rushing for 4.5 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 611 yards to the Dukes with 388 passing yards on 34 attempts. Jacoby to Colby Criswell, 28 of 48 passes for 475 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Duke now 4 0, 
a 45 to 17 row win at Middle Tennessee State. Blue Devils put up 340 yards, 124 rushing for three and a half yards of carry. On defense, they held the Blue Raiders to 295 yards, 168 rushing for 4.2 yards of carry. Malik Murphy, 14 to 21, passing for 216 yards with three touchdowns and a pick. Duke has defended well by holding teams to 3.4 yards per rush, 4.2 yards per pass attempt. They have been efficient through the air, 64% completions, 7.1 yards per pass attempt. Their biggest challenge came in an overtime win at Northwestern. North Carolina has not covered a spread in four games this year. The pass defense has been poor for the Tar Heels as they're just giving up 8.8 yards per pass attempt. And they face a Duke team that's strong in the passing game. Play Duke here, minus three. Mississippi State and Texas college football pick Saturday game, Saturday's game. Mississippi State fell to one and three after their 45 to 28 home defeat to Florida. The Bulldogs gained 480 yards, 240 rushing for 4.3 yards of carry. On defense, the Bulldogs allowed 503 yards to the Gators, 226 rushing for 6.3 yards of carry. Blake Shapen 13 to 21 passing for 140 yards and a touchdown. Michael Van Buren is expected to start and hit seven of 13 passes. For 100 yards, Texas sits at 4-0. A 51-3 home win to UL Monroe. The Longhorns put up 497 yards, 239 rushing for 4.6 yards of carry. Defensively, they held the Warhawks to 111 yards, 54 passing on 25 attempts. Arch Manning, 15-29 passing for 258 yards and two touchdowns and two picks in there. Quinn Ewers is questionable quarterback. Mississippi State has a passing game that completes 65% of their passes, 8.7 yards per pass attempt. They have struggled defensively by allowing over 5 yards of carry, 71% completions allowed. Texas is getting great offensive production, nearly 5 yards of carry on the ground, 68% completions, 10 yards per pass attempt. They defend the run and pass well. The Bulldogs gave up 45 at home to Florida last week and 41 to Toledo two weeks ago, play at Mississippi State and Texas over 62 and a half. Old Dominion and Bowling Green College Football Pick Saturday. Old Dominion fell to 0-3, a 37-13 home defeat to Virginia Tech. The Monarchs gained at 293 yards, 243 rushing for 6.2 yards of carry. Defensively, they allowed 465 yards to the Hokies, 289 rushing for 5.7 yards per carry. Grant Wilson missed the game due to the injury and it's questionable here. Quint Hankel, 5-12 passing for 38 yards and a pick, Bowling Green now 1-2, and two, a 26-20 road defeat at Texas A&M. Falcons put up in the game 339 yards, 89 rushing for 3.9 yards of carry. Defensively, they allowed 408 yards to the Aggies, 235 rushing, 5.5 yards of carry. Connor Basilek, 28-36 passing for 250 yards with a touchdown and pick. Now, ODU has defended holding teams of 4.1 yards per carry, 57% completion rate, only 6.6 yards per pass attempt. The Falcons defense giving up 5.3 yards of carry on the ground, 8.3 yards per pass step. Old Dominion was competitive in a 23-19 road loss at South Carolina. Play here will be Old Dominion here at plus 9.5. Louisiana Tech and FIU college football pick Saturday. Louisiana Tech drops to 1-2, a 23-20 home overtime defeat to Tulsa. The Bulldogs put up 285 yards, 87 rushing for just over 2 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 333 yards to the Golden Hurricane with 228 passing on 36 attempts. Jack Turner goes 7-14 passing for 41 yards. Evan Bullock, relieved, went 4-6 of six for 49 yards and a touchdown. FIU fell to 1-3, a 45-42 home defeat to FCS Monmouth. Two weeks ago, it was a 38-20 road loss at FAU. The Golden Panthers posted 368 yards, 87 rushing for 3.5 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 420 yards to the Owls, 259 rushing for 5 yards of carry. Kayon Jenkins, 21-35 passing for 281 yards with 3 touchdowns and 3 picks. Louisiana Tech running for only 2.4 yards of carry. They are getting inaccurate quarterback play with 53% completion rate. The FIU passing game is generating 65% completions. 7.9 yards per pass attempt. They hold opponents at 6.1 yards per pass attempt. Louisiana Tech 4 and 10 to the spread on the road. Play here will be on FIU here at plus 3. Mm -hmm. 
Stanford and Clemson college football pick for Saturday. Stanford 2-1 after their 26-25 road win at Syracuse. The Cardinal gained 351 yards, 173 rushing for 5.4 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 365 yards to the Orange, 26 rushing for on 17 carries. Ashton Daniels, 23-38 passing for 178 yards with a touchdown and two picks. Clemson 2-1 with their 59-35 home win to NC State. The Tigers posted 523 yards, 269 rushing for 8.2 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 436 yards to the Wolfpack, 257 passing on 31 attempts. Case Klubnik, 16-24 passing for 209 yards with three touchdowns. Tough scheduling spot for Stanford playing back-to-back road games at Syracuse. Now here at Clemson, the Cardinal run pass defense struggles, giving up 67% completions, 8 yards per pass step. Clemson offense rolling right now, 6.3 yards a carry, nearly 70% completion rate, 8.5 yards per pass attempt. Stanford 0-4 of the spread in consecutive road games are also 1-5 of the spread on the road against good passing teams that average 8 yards per pass attempt or greater. Play Clemson, minus 21.5. Iowa State and Houston college football pick Saturday. Iowa State improved to 3-0 after a 52-7 home win to Arkansas State. The Cyclones gained 490 yards, 237 rushing for 4.9 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Red Wolves to 182 yards, 64 rushing for under 2 yards a carry. Rocco Beck, 11-18 passing for 204 yards, 2 touchdowns and a pick. Houston fell to 1-3, a 34-zip road defeat in Cincinnati. The Cougars posted only 233 yards, 141 rushing for 4.3 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 362 yards and with 13 passing 18 attempts in the, on 18 attempts. Donovan Smith, 11 of 16 passing, 73 yards and a pick. Cyclones on the ground running for 4.2 yards a carry. They beat Iowa on the road by one and faced two weak opponents. The Cougars defensively holding teams to 3.6 yards a carry, only 6.3 yards per pass. And remember, they were tough on the road against Oklahoma. The four-point road loss play here will be on Houston at plus the 14 and a half. Already, Charlotte fell to 1-3 after their 52-14 road defeat in Indiana. The 49ers put up 256 yards with 137 rushing for 4.1 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 510 yards to the Hoosiers with 288 passing yards on 27 attempts. The starting quarterback, Max Brown, questionable. Trexler Ivy hit 14-23 passes for 119 yards with a touchdown. Rice fell to 1-3, a 37-14 road defeated Army. The Owls put up 297 yards, 41 rushing for 3.2 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 48 yards to the Black Knights with 288 yards rushing for 5.1 yards a carry. Quarterback issues for the Owls with the injury to Max Brown. The Owls running game is generating 5.7 yards a carry. They have defended well by holding a post of 4.2 yards a carry and 6.8 yards per pass attempt. Charlotte's having issues on both sides of the football. They run for less than 3 yards a carry. The defense has given up 267 passing yards for nearly 10 yards per pass attempt. Opponents rush for 5 yards a carry on the 49ers. Rice 10-4 and four the spread at home. Play Rice minus 6.5. UL Monroe and Troy College football pick Saturday. UL Monroe fell to 2-1 after their 51-3 road defeat at Texas. The Warhawks gained 111 yards, 57 rushing for 2.2 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 497 yards to the Longhorns with 258 passing on 29 attempts. General Booty, 8-19 of 19 passing for 42 yards and an interception. Troy improved to 1-3 after their 34-12 home win to FCS 4 a m Two weeks ago, it was a 38-21 home defeat to Iowa. The Trojans put up 253 yards for 24 rushing for, on 21 attempts. Goose Crowder missed the game due to a shoulder injury. He returned in the win against Florida A&M on the year. He completes 69% of his passes with five touchdowns and 8.6 yards per pass attempt. Crowder has been an efficient passer for the Trojans. Troy has played a tough schedule and has rushed for 4.3 yards to carry. UL Monroe has struggled in pass defense by allowing 68% completion rate. 7.2 yards per pass attempt. They are getting inaccurate and inefficient quarterback play. You win row 5 1 of the spread on the road. Troy is 7 3 of the spread in home conference games. Play Troy minus 7.
Tulsa and North Texas college football pick for action on Saturday. Tulsa improved it 2-2 two two with their 23-20 road overtime win at Louisiana Tech. The Golden Hurricane gained at 333 yards, 105 rushing for 3.5 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 284 yards to the Bulldogs with 87 rushing for 2.2 yards a carry. Kirk Francis hit on 24-36 for 228 yards and a touchdown. North Texas 3-1 after their 44-17 home win to Wyoming. The Mean Green produced 534 yards, 216 rushing for 6.7 yards a carry on defense. They held the Cowboys to 244 yards, 69 rushing for 2.2 yards per, per rush. General Morris hit on 28 of 41 passes for 305 yards and two touchdowns. Tulsa has efficient offense with 5.2 yards per rush, 62% completion rate, 7.3 yards per pass attempt. Golden Hurricane limits their opponents to 3.2 yards per carry. It's an efficient offense for the Mean Green. They're allowing 285 yards passing per game, 7.6 yards per pass attempt. Golden Hurricane eating to the spread as a road dog play Tulsa plus 6.5. Middle Tennessee State and Memphis College football pick Saturday. Middle Tennessee State fell to 1-3, a 45-17 home defeat to Duke. The Blue Devil, the Blue Raiders have State produced 295 yards, 158 rushing for 4.2 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 340 yards to the Blue Devils, 216 passing on 21 attempts. Nicholas Batedio, 21 of 33 passing for 127 yards with a touchdown and pick. Memphis drops a 3-1, a 56-44 road defeat at Navy. The Tigers put up 659 yards, 274 rushing for 7.2 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 566 yards to Midshipman with 361 rushing for 9.3 yards of carry. Seth Hennigan, 32 of 56 passing for 371 yards and two touchdowns, also a pick. Middle Tennessee State has a productive passing game, 64% completion rate, 7.4 yards per pass attempt. The Blue Raiders are passing for 261 yards a game. With Memphis, they are an explosive offense, but a leaky defense throughout the years. The Tigers' playoff hopes took a massive blow last week. They are 5-8 and eight to the spread at home play. Middle Tennessee State plus 26. <laughs> Illinois and Penn State college football pick Saturday. Illinois. Improved to 4-0, a 31-24 road overtime win at Nebraska. The final line I gained at 381 yards, 166 rushing for 4.2 yards of carry on defense. They allowed 345 yards to the Cornhuskers with 48 rushing for under 2 yards per run. Luke Altmaier, 21-27 passing for 215 yards and 4 touchdowns. Penn State, a 3-0, a 56-0 home win to Kent. Nitton Lions put up 718 yards, 309 rushing for 6.2 yards of carry. On defense, they limited the Golden Flashes to 66 yards with 18 passing yards on 13 attempts. Drew Lahr, 17 of 21 passing for 309 yards and three touchdowns. Illinois has been tested this season with wins against Kansas and Nebraska. They're getting an effective passing with 70% completion rate, 8.1 yards per pass step. Defensively, they hold opponents at 3.5 yards a carry, 5.9 yards per pass step. Penn State's won at West Virginia but got past two max schools. They gave up 27 points at home to Bowling Green in a 7-point win. Play Illinois, plus 18. Georgia and Alabama college football picks Saturday. Georgia improved to 3-0 after their 13-12 row win at Kentucky. The Bulldogs gained 262 yards, 102 rushing for 3.4 yards of carry. On defense, they held the Wildcats at 284 yards, 114 passing on 28 attempts. Carson Beck, 15 at 24 passing for 160 yards. Alabama 3-0 after their 42-10 row win at Wisconsin. The Crimson Tide put up 405 yards, 181 rushing for 5.3 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Badgers at 290 yards, 141 passing on 31 attempts. Jalen Milrow, 12-17 passing for 196 yards and three touchdowns. Alabama rushing for 5.8 yards per attempt. They're getting the better quarterback play with 67% completion rate, 10.3 yards per pass attempt. Crimson Tide holds a post of 52% completions, 3.2 yards per pass attempt. Georgia had only had only a one-point win in Kentucky as a 21.5 point favorite. Play, play here will be on Alabama plus two.
Ohio State and Michigan State college football pick Saturday. Ohio State 3-0 after their 49-14 home win to Marshall. The Buckeyes posted 569 yards, 280 rushing for 9 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Thundering Herd to 264 yards, 125 rushing for 2.9 yards a carry. Will Howard, 16-20 passing for 275 yards, 2 touchdowns, and a pick. Michigan State fell at 3-1, a 23-19 road defeat at Boston College. The Spartans put up 368 yards, 127 rushing for 3.8 yards a carry. Offensively, they allowed 292 yards to BC with 140 passing on 16 attempts. Adam Childs, 17 to 35 passes for 241 yards and three picks. Michigan State moving the football for 4.7 yards per rush, throwing for eight yards per pass attempt. They defend by limiting the opposition to 2.6 yards to carry, 6.9 yards per pass attempt. Ohio State has played a weak schedule, piling up positive stats. This will be their first road game of the season, playing Michigan State plus 24. South Alabama and LSU college football pick Saturday. South Alabama improved it 2-2 two two with a 48-14 road win at Appalachian State. The Jaguars posted 474 yards, 320 rushing for 7.4 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 385 yards to the Mountaineers with 266 passing yards on 40 attempts. Gio Lopez hit 16-24 passing for 154 yards and two touchdowns. LSU moves to 3-1 with a 34-17 home win to UCLA. The Tigers gained 454 yards with 102 rushing for 3.6 yards of carry. On defense, they held the Bruins to 295 yards, 281 through the air on 36 attempts. Garrett Newsmeyer, 32-44 passing for 352 yards with three touchdowns. Jaguars offense has performed well with 6.9 yards per rush, 8.3 yards per pass attempt. Defensively, they limit opponents to 3.8 yards of carry. LSU's defense is a concern as they're allowing 66% completions, 8.3 yards for pass attempt. They've not covered the spread, including a home game against FCS Nickel State where they gave up 21 points. They were up only seven after three quarters at home to a down UCLA team. Play South Alabama plus 22. Florida State and SMU college football pick Saturday. Florida State 1-3 after their 14-9 home win to Cal. The Seminoles put up 284 yards, 107 rushing for 2.6 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 410 yards to the Golden Bears, 303 passing on 37 attempts. DJ, DJ Uglagale, 16-27 passing for 177 yards with a touchdown and pick. SMU fell to 3-1, a 66-42 home win to TCU. The Mustangs put up 415 yards, 238 rushing for 5.7 yards of carry. Defensively, they allowed 480 yards to the Horned Frogs with 415 passing yards on 46 attempts. Kevin Jennings, 14 of 19 passing for 137 yards and two touchdowns. Florida State holds teams to 4 yards per rush, 7.7 yards per pass attempt. Their offense has struggled with 2.3 yards per rush, 6.6 yards per pass attempt. Florida State has played a tough schedule. The Mustangs were held to 15 points at home in a loss to BYU. Could see the Seminoles' defense keep them in this one. Play at Florida State plus, plus six and a half. Cincinnati and Texas Tech college football pick Saturday. Cincinnati improved to 3-1 with a 34-0 home win to Houston. The Bearcats put up 362 yards, 149 rushing for 3.9 yards to carry. On defense, they limited the Cougars to 233 yards, 92 passing on 21 attempts. Brendan Soresby, 12 of 15 passing for 188 yards with two touchdowns. Texas Tech improved to 3 and 1, a 30 to 22 home victory to Arizona State. The Red Raiders put up 334 yards, 133 rushing for 3.4 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 376 yards to the Sun Devils with 282 passing on 38 attempts. Baron Morton, 24-44 passing for 201 yards and two touchdowns. Bearcats are putting up good offensive numbers. They do struggle defensively by allowing 4.5 yards per rush, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. The Red Raiders are rushing for five yards a carry and throwing for 319 yards a game, 7.1 yards per pass attempt. Texas Tech has been impressive at home. Cincinnati's lone road game came at a max school where they won 27-16. Played Texas Tech minus two and a half.
New Mexico and New Mexico State college football pick Saturday. Mexico sits at 0-4 after a 38-21 home defeat to Fresno State. The Lobos put up 485 yards, 147 rushing for 5.3 yards per run on defense. The Lobos allowed 345 yards to the Bulldogs with 252 passing yards on 34 attempts. Devin Dampier, 33 of 53 passing for 338 yards, two touchdowns and two picks. Mexico State sits at 1-3 after a 31-11 home defeat to Sam Houston State. The Aggies posted 152 yards, 78 rushing for 2.8 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 382 yards to the Bearcats with 280 rushing for 5.1 yards a carry. Santino Marucci, 14-29 passing for 74 yards with a touchdown and two picks. Mexico defense is allowing 6.4 yards a carry with 68% completion rate, 9.1 yards per pass attempt. They're getting an inefficient quarterback play. Mexico State at home was competitive against Liberty in a six-point home loss. In their other home game, they defeated an FCS team, played New Mexico State plus nine. Air Force and Wyoming a college football pick. This one here on Saturday, Air Force fell to 1-2 after their 31-3 road defeat at Baylor. The Falcons gained 218 yards, 193 rushing for 3.4 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 478 yards to the Bears with 248 passing on 24 attempts. John Busha went 0-5 in defeat. He rushed for 45 yards. Wyoming 0-4 after a 44-17 road defeat at North Texas. Cowboys put up 244 yards, 69 rushing for 2.1 yards a carry. On defense, they gave up 534 yards to the Mean Green, 318 passing on 43 attempts. Evan Mavoda connected on 11 and 23 passes for 155 yards and a touchdown. Air Force struggling on both sides of the field. The Falcons rushed for only 3.4 yards a carry and getting inaccurate passing. Defensively, they're allowing 6.1 yards per, per rush, 75% completion rate, 10.5 yards per pass attempt. The Cowboys are, depend, are defending better and getting better performance from the passing game. Play Wyoming, Wyoming plus four. Washington State and Boise State college football pick this one here on Saturday. Washington State improved to 4-0 after a 54-52 home overtime win to San Jose State. The Cougars posted the 627 yards, 237 rushing for 4.8 yards a carry. On defense, they gave up 491 yards to the Spartans with 375 passing yards on 54 attempts. John Matier, 26-46 passing for 390 yards, 4 touchdowns, and 2 picks. Boise State sits at 2-1. After a 56-14 home win to FCS Portland State three weeks ago, it was a 37-34 road defeat at Oregon. The Broncos produced 369 yards, 221 rushing for 6.7 yards a carry. On defense, they gave up 352 yards to the Ducks with 243 passing yards on 21 attempts. Maddox Madsen, 13 of 18 passing for 180 yards and three touchdowns. The Cougars are running for six yards a carry, making plays downfield in the passing game with 9.5 yards per pass attempt. They're holding opposing quarterbacks to 6.9 yards per pass attempt. Boise State's pass defense a concern as they're allowing 65% completion rate for 7.6 yards per pass attempt. They did give up 45 points to Georgia Southern. Play Washington State here plus 7. Arizona and Utah College football pick Saturday. Arizona fell to 2-1 after the 31-7 road defeated Kansas State. The Wildcats gained 324 yards, 56 rushing for 2.9 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 391 yards to the Wildcats, 234 rushing for 5.7 yards a carry. Noah Fafita, 26-42 passing for 268 yards with an interception. Utah improved here to 4-0, a 22-19 road win at Oklahoma State. The Utes put up 456 yards, 249 rushing for 4.8 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Cowboys at 285 yards with 237 passing on 44 attempts. Cam Rising questionable with a hand injury and has missed the past two games. Isaac Wilson, 17 of 29 passing for 207 yards with a touchdown and two picks. He rushed for 41 yards. Arizona has struggled defensively as they're allowing nearly six yards a carry. Offensively, they're running for less than three yards a carry. Utah rushing for five yards per carry. Defensively, they're holding a post at 3.2 yards per rush and only 44% completion rate with 5.5 yards per pass attempt. Arizona was covered by the Kansas State run game. The Utes can do the same here in that home stadium, play Utah minus eight and a half. half. 
Oregon and UCLA college football pick Saturday. Oregon 3-0 after their 49-14 row win at Oregon State. The Ducks put up 546 yards, 240 rushing for 7.5 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Beavers to 309 yards, 178 passing on 35 attempts. Dylan Gabriel, 20-24 passing for 291 yards, two touchdowns. He rushed for 64 yards and a touchdown. UCLA drops a 1-2, a 34-17 row defeat at LSU. The Bruins posted 295 yards, 14 rushing yards on 22 carries. On defense, they allowed 454 yards to the Tigers with 352 passing yards on 44 attempts. Ethan Garbers, 22 of 36 passing for 281 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Garbers' performance at LSU encouraging here. He is a senior quarterback with experience. Oregon's allowing nearly five yards per rush. UCLA still effective in stopping the run, giving up three yards a carry. Bruins are averaging 7.1 yards per pass step. Play here will be on. UCLA plus 25 and a half. If you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, my best best plays, click the link in the description. That'll take you to my sales page at Tony'sPicks.com. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you appreciate our work, give us that like, that thumbs up on this video. It really helps our channel. I'm Tony T. We'll talk to you later. For my best bets and premium plays, click the link in the description that'll take you to my sales page at tonyspicks.com. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you appreciate our work, give us that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. I'm Tony T. We'll talk to you later.